What's up? Whoa. It's a brand new era. It, why? Because I got a new camera. It's a brand new camera. It's all new, all different. Yeah. It's like, I don't know what this is like. Can you tell? It's Write like, in with your comments about how you feel about the new camera and how we look on it. It's like we're recolorized, like, old comics or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Matt. I'm Danny. And this is number one special recolorized giant size edition Southern California Comics Weekly Comic Book Video Update Review. Remastered. Artist edition. <laughs> Giants. I said that one. Uh, comic books, uh, us, and you, and discussion. Well, more throwing our opinions at you, and you can't say anything. Stuff came out this week. Yeah. We're going to tell you about it. I'll go. I'll just jump into it. Yeah, let's do this. Well, it's Guardians of the Galaxy, a but. But? I think it's a one shot. I don't think it's. It's not the main series. Wait, what? Yeah. Well, Galaxy's Most Wanted. Galaxy's Most Wanted. Um, this is, I think, is an intro book to mostly Rocket Raccoon and Groot. Yeah, in case you were, you haven't read the series, but you're curious about the movie and you want to know who Rocket Raccoon and Groot are. Right here. And then backup reprints of original yes. appearances. Old time, like we were saying, these comics look like us now. Um, yeah. HD remix. So, pre-fan favorite characters, check them out before something happens. Like, more people like them than you and they have to fight for it. Looks cool. Wait, is this the right issue? Original Sin number four? No, we'll get the other one. Original Sin number five is out. Original Sin number five is out. This is Original Sin number four. If you've read this, you know what happens. Um, is it an eight issue miniseries? It is. Yes. We're over halfway done with it. Can you believe that? Yes. Issue four had a crazy reveal. And now, issue five is here. We're, we're issue five gives you answers now. Yeah. It takes a while, but you get to answers. Yeah, a little like, bit. Pretty crazy reveal in number four, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah. This one is good. I still feel like this was a five-issue mini that Marvel said, do more. So they went, okay. Because <laughs> there's a lot of scenes in this book of the orb going, wait, don't forget about it, and then he passes out. Like, Ugh, enough. Just, okay. <laughs> um, but this is, like, super critical if you read the last one. Yeah, so far, I've been enjoying the, the ride. Yeah. Just because it's sort of divorced from everything else. It's just, mm -hmm. like, heroes doing stuff, investigating. And it's important without a lot of hype. Like, it's yeah. not shoved in your face all the time, yeah. which is cool. And it wasn't like Infinity, which you had to read all the tie-ins, because they were all written by Jonathan Hickman. Yeah. It's just like, this is all you need. If you want to, extra credit. If not, yeah. no problem. Yeah, I like that. Remember when I mentioned Guardians of the Galaxy earlier? Yeah, I love to hear about those characters. I would like to deconstruct them and then pull them into separate books. Well, what's up? Uh, solo books? I believe these are ongoings as well. Yes. Uh, this is the legendary Star-Lord, and this is Rocket Raccoon without an adjective before his name. Yes. Like, pompous or silly. It's just Rocket Raccoon. Um, they're both on the pages of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. So now you have more Star-Lord, Peter Quill. Yep. Um, I don't really know what his character was like before. It's kind of not important. Yeah. Like, he like he was a minor character introduced in, like, the 70s in, like, one comic and never mm -hmm. showed up again for, like, 20 years. Yeah, and then he came back. I think he kind of fell into the, he's just a character. What, what is he like? Like, he's just a character that shoots guns. Mm -hmm. But uh, they've, they've clearly kind of, which is Marvel's doing now with their movies because they're so successful, morphing the movies into the comic. Um, so a lot of times the costumes will change or... Characters will be added. Oh, or yeah. they'll, they'll make the comics more like the movies yeah. in some ways. This one clearly, you can tell, even just from the trailers, they've turned uh, Star-Lord into the movie Star-Lord, which I think is fine. Yeah, I like that character. Because, so again, <laughs> if you went, describe Star-Lord in three words, you'd go, space, mask, lasers. That's not a char character or personality. So now he's got one, kind of the doofy, he knows what he's doing, but he's also, like, not great at it. Um, also kind of, you know, one step forward and two steps back kind of guy. Um, but I like it, I like... The flow of it, I like, you really know who this dude is, yeah, just in the one issue. It's written by Sam Humphreys, mm -hmm. who always does fun comics. Yeah. And big reveal for it, so. Yeah. Rocket Raccoon is by Scotty Young. Like the whole thing. The whole thing. He just does the whole thing. Yeah. No more variant covers, the whole yeah. book. Yeah. I guess he's done drawing books about the Wizard of Oz. Now he wants <laughs> to do a raccoon in a wrestling match, which is what happens in this comic. Yeah. Whoa, those are... I really like how he draws these, like... Like, he draws these, like, space policemen who have, like, red and uh, blue lights on their heads. Yeah. Like, super bulky. So it's, it's a like fun, fun comic. Um, yeah, kind of branching out. It's still with the Guardians, but it's clearly his own storyline. Um, I think we'll probably get some of his background or something or some of that, because, yeah. 
Um, but it's cool, it's fun. I think it'll be a neat ride. Yeah, I'm so glad it's drawn like this. The colors are great. Yeah. Like, really fun, like, really expressive Instead of, like, dead, boring, sad, yeah. like, black, blue space, this is, like, neon and bright, because it's gonna be, so. That is the jam. Cool. I'm excited for that now. Well, it's right there when you're ready for it. I'm ready for it. Okay. But first, I'm gonna talk about something that is completely the opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Kiss Triple Xmas in July special. Yes. I'll... First off, it's a black and white. That's totally different yes. already. And I cannot show you any pages from this. No. Lest I show you naked people. Yeah. Yes. Howard Chicken is back with his legendary Black Kiss mm -hmm. story with a quick little one shot. Well, it's not quick. It's like six bucks for a pretty thick, yeah. thick little package. And, yep. Vampires, um, the hermaphrodites. Yeah. I, think, I think that's the term you can use. I don't know. Not we really. We can use that's not. That's not really what they are. Just the first word that came to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. If you're a fan of Black Kiss, just know that there's another issue out. Yes. Howard Chaikin, greatest of all time. Christmas special. Doing things his way. Uh, Ain't nothing like it. Sort of in the vein of that. Oh, man. Nice. Right? IEW presents Weird Love, which is also... Um, Kind of a spinoff of the Harvey Horror books they've been doing. Oh, is it like reprint material? Yeah, I thought I had one here. Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah, Haunted Horror. Oh, nice. Putting all those. They're sweet, uncensored, weird, yeah. pre-code horror comics. But these are like, sweet. They're like really good. Um, now they've turned to like strange love stories that I didn't know existed. Oh, yeah. Including stories like Too Fat for Love. <laughs> She's not even that fat. She's not even that fat, but it's scandalous. Uh, there's actually a lot of... You know, like the first one about being an escort. There's a lot of stuff like that you wouldn't expect from this time frame, especially in comics about people's issues. Um, but I love, I love these old books. They're fun. They're really short. They're even shorter than like EC stuff. It's like it's five pages sometimes. And nice. And it's just a fun like if you're sitting somewhere, just read it, pull it out, and read it. The cool thing about these is that you don't have to shell a ton of money for a hardcover. Mm -hmm. If you're like curious about it, you just buy like one of the singles. This is four bucks. It's thick and plus That's it's... four bucks? Yeah. I would have thought it was like eight bucks. No, it's only four and it's scanned from the original book so you get... Like all the crappy colors and like yeah. weird errors and stuff. That's I, really cool. I know the Haunted Horror books that they have, the Harvey Horror ones, are scanned from the original so they have the ads inside. Yeah. It's like weird all like pantyhose ads or like gum chewing ads, which I think is like the perfect feel. Yeah. So It's like part of the appeal of reading old comics, like mm -hmm. seeing the weird ads. Yeah. Like, I remember that game. I remember that toy. So a $4 book that will not crumble in your hands and you can eat Cheetos with and not worry about the condition. Yeah. Check it. All right. Iron Fist number four is out. Not just Iron Fist. Iron Fist, the living weapon. weapon. Yeah. Like a gun with arms. Yeah. And um, a brain. This continues the the opening story arc, where Iron Fist is kind of haunted by things from his past, and he's super, he's super like mopey, but he's also super kung fu-y. Yeah. So he got the best of both worlds. And this one, mostly he hangs out with a girl in his apartment the whole time. It like shows us some kung mm -hmm. fu stuff, like. Does like a push up on one finger while holding her up with his foot. Cool. Pretty cool. Like the art's amazing. It's actually like a the whole issue is an expanded scene from the first book. Like that was yeah. like two pages long. This is right right before that. And also the art is crazy because yeah. Carrie Andrews, Kari Andrews, uh, writes and illustrates it. So he just does whatever he wants. Cool. It's super cool looking. Like probably one of my favorite pages of the year is in this comic. Whoa. Which is it? Pick it's it up and find out. <laughs> you got a whole year to say more of those. I'll probably say that like seven more times this year. One of my favorite books. Quantum and Woody. Quantum Woody, number 12 so by good. Valiant. Um, this is the end of their first big story arc thing. Yeah, 12 issues. We don't know if it's coming back. I'm, I'm thinking it's just like this is the season finale and it comes back later. Yeah, because it's making way for a mini series called Liquids, which is a team between Archer and Armstrong and Quantum Woody, which is like perfect. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this ties up a lot of loose ends, a lot of really funny stuff. Jokes even, the humor, if you Love like jokes. that kind of thing. Still full of jokes. Get a yeah. little preview of delinquents. I'm excited for this. Yeah. Um, really excited for this, so um, I even saw that the original Quantum Woman guys are going to come back, I think for a mini -series. Yeah, they're doing a mini-series yeah. with the classic iteration. Continuing that storyline, so I think that's going to come out, and then they come back to this. Please buy good. this, buy the trades, it's hilarious. Yes, it's worth your money. Yeah. Not like this other stuff. This stuff isn't. Garbage. Yeah, I'm lying to you. Also worth your money, uh, Tech Jacket number one. Mm. Um, the guy from Invincible. I think he's mm -hmm. he's in the Invincible universe, okay. anyway. He's like a kid in Iron Man armor, mm -hmm. fights aliens. Like, not really high concept, but 
just like super solid superhero stuff. Mm. And like I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of Kirkman nowadays, mm. but this is by uh, Joe Keating and Kari Randolph. And it's super good. Just a lot of personality. You come to really like the characters in the span of one issue. Mm. It doesn't happen to us. Yeah, I'm like, oh man, I really like this these characters. I hope they don't get killed off immediately. <laughs> Lots of alien fighting, lots of purples. That's cool. It's the stuff. Sweet. Yeah. I trust your opinion. I do too. Thanks. I was talking about me. No, I know. I'm glad you trust me trusting you. Yes. You shouldn't trust me trusting you. All right, we're going to do another segment about comic books. Are you surprised? I was a little bit surprised. You want to do about the new camera instead? They uh, should know the features. I'll hold it up to the mirror, like. Yeah. I don't know. Have you, ever, have you ever seen those online, like the reviews of things on the video, mm -hmm. on the YouTubes? I don't know if anyone does that for cameras. That's kind of, it's a little too meta, I think. Let's find out. Yeah. With a horrible segment coming up next. Yeah. All right, so we're back to uh, talking to customers. A pull is customer time. Can I get your name, please? My, My name, name is Luke. Luke, um, what are you reading today? Today I've got last week's Goon. Ooh, nice. And this week's East to West. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen a Goon in a while. That's kind of bi-monthly and then bi-yearly, so. Right. But uh, yeah, this one's got a Jack Davis cover, right? So yes, it is. Jack yeah, Davis cover. it's pretty yeah. sweet. So that's cool. Anything uh, you're looking forward to or checking out today? Um, I'm happy for the East to West. Um, trying to think of what else I was about to look for. Um, that was pretty much it for this week. Um, yeah, it's been a slow week for the holiday. It is. Yeah, it was definitely a slow week for sure. Enjoy barbecue and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Exactly. All right. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. And enjoy watching yourself uh, on social media. Sounds great. Uh, that's it for us. We'll be closed on Friday, but you'll be seeing this on Saturday. So we were closed yesterday. All right. See you next week. Oh yeah. <laughs> I might like, go up tonight. You never know. Oh, that's true. Well, but, but this will be ruined. Either, either way, we'll see you next week. We were closed at some point. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thanks. No problem. <laughs> Thank you.